now that we know what logarithms are and how they can help us solve exponential, we're going to look at solving actual logarithmic equations. And the key is really to remember that it comes, they're related to solving exponential. Okay. So everything that we had to deal with to solve exponential is going to be useful when we're solving logarithmic because they're inverses. They have that inverse relationship. Okay. So our goal really is I'm going to look for either logs with same base or a single log that I can convert into an exponential equation, okay? Which is what we're looking at right here. I have a single log, it's already isolated, the only thing on this side is the logarithmic term, and there's just the one piece over here, this 3x, and so we want to think back to what this is asking. And this is asking, this says 6 to the 3x power is going to equal to 16. Okay, well now we're right back with the exponential that we started with and I want to try to get 216 as some power of 6. So we're going to keep 6 to the 3x and then 216, remember we can divide down to get there or I can guess and check and 6 to the third power is 216. My base is match, so now this just says 3x equals 3, which tells me that x equals 1. So again, just like before, we want to go back and check it. Is 3 times 1 equal to log base 6 of 216? Well, so math, go get log base. 6 to 16. It is equal. We know we're right. I'm going to keep my answer. Okay. So when we move on, I want to look here and I've got my single log term, but it's set equal to an expression x minus 4. So we want to think of that on its own. Okay, this whole side is the power we're raising 3 to. This is 3 to the x minus 4 equals 243. So again, I want to write 243 as some power of 3. 3 to the x minus 4 equal to 3 to some power got your chart or we're going to kind of guess and check. 3 to the 4th is 81, so 3 to the 5th. There's my 243. And at that point this says 5 equals x minus 4. Add 4 and x equals 9. So we're going to go back and check is 9 minus 4 equal to log base 3 of 243. 9 minus 4 is 5, and remember from our work with logs the other day, 3 to what power equals 243? 3 to the 5th, that's what we had here, we're good, x equals 9. Okay. One more where the solving comes a little later. Single logarithmic term, there's nothing outside that needs to be moved, nothing that needs to be rearranged. I just have the one logarithm set equal to 5. Well, that's nice because this says 4 to the 5th equals 4x minus 20. So I just need to calculate 4 to the 5th. So I can do 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, right? But we're kind of past that. 4 to the 5th, 1024 equals 4x minus 20. 
solve okay and 1044 divided by 4 is 261 x equals 261 Well, here I've got log terms on each side. And just like with exponential, I want to check and make sure that my bases match. And they already do. So just like with exponentials, my bases match so I can ignore them and just focus on getting what's inside to work. 3 minus x equals 5x minus 15. Let's put the 1 back in there so we don't forget about it. Plus 1x, 3 equals 6x minus 15. 6x equals 18. x equals 3. Okay, the base is already matched, so all we have to do is get the arguments to be equal to solve for x. Okay. Here, I've got log terms on both sides. They both have the same base. So I'm going to set the inside equal. 3x squared is equal to 2x plus 1. Everything up to now has been linear. First degree x, easy to solve. We're used to dealing with it. But now I've got this squared term, which means I need to move everything over to that side and set it equal to 0. 3x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals 0. And at this point, we're going to try to factor because I've got that b term to deal with. So 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. If I use 1 and 3, I need to get a negative 2. So we're going to subtract. So in parentheses, I've got x plus 1 over 3 because that's my a value. And x minus... 3 over 3 is just 1, still equal to 0. And remember from factoring, I'm going to set these equal to 0 separately. So x is going to equal negative 1 third, or x can equal positive 1. Now, with logarithms, I cannot raise a positive number to any power and ever get a negative. So we always have to go back and check and make sure just because this is negative, it doesn't make it wrong. It doesn't make it not usable. I have to plug it back in. 3 times negative 1 third squared, that's still going to be positive. And 2 times negative 1 third plus 1 from in this set. If I do negative 2 thirds plus 1, I'm still going to get a positive answer. So that means I can use both. x can be either negative 1 third or x can equal 1. Okay. Now, for the most part, we're concerned with this kind of solving today. Okay. This is what we're going to have to worry about. But we do need to kind of refresh factoring for you guys that are going into pre-cal because this is coming on later assignments.